has opened some eyes in North Carolina's three straight blowout wins. You have to go back to 1978 to find the last Tar Heel player to lead the ACC in assists. But freshman Ed Coda is on top and leading the way this season. He's got some help, though, from the man who defined the point guard position in college 20 years ago. Tonight, the heat will be turned up as NC State welcomes its neighbor. Reynolds can be a house of horrors, and nothing sparks the ire like the Carolina blue and white. come to call and tonight is no different bill ford knows how difficult it can be to win in this building in his career he was one in three at reynolds coliseum and his boss dean smith has a losing record here all time a very pleasant good evening everybody bob rathman billy packer welcome to acc basketball in the state carolina game Billy, when these two clubs met in January over at Chapel Hill, it was a big comeback for Carolina to win that game and avoid an 0-4 ACC start. But this is a very different Carolina club that comes to Raleigh tonight, a much more confident team, primarily because of their improved guard play. No question about it, Bob. I think that that was one of the most important and telling games that Dean Smith has ever had in regular season. And this young man right here, Ed Cota, put on quite a show for us just last week against Florida State. They have great confidence when he's on the floor, and he's distributing the ball beautifully. The Tar Heels are the winningest road team in the history of the Atlantic Coast Conference. And yet here it is in the middle of February, and they're still looking for their first road win in the conference. They're 0-4. Well, they've had a lot of great teams over the years, but I don't know if they've ever, with this type of talent, played in the league where it was any tougher from top to bottom. So it's tough to win a game in the road. Ask Mike Krzyzewski about last <laughs> night, huh? Indeed. NC State would love dearly to spring the upset and win their second conference game of the season. They'll have C.C. Harrison back in the starting lineup tonight, and that's a big plus to have their leading scorer back with them. It's amazing that they were able to beat Clemson without him being an important factor in the game. It should help them a great deal, and we may even see sometimes tonight they're using three guards, a lineup against North Carolina. All right, when we come back, we'll meet the rest of the starting lineups as the Tar Heels and the Wolfpack go head-to-head -head and rolling. More coming up right after this. ACC Basketball is brought to you by Pepsi, by Nation Bank, by Bell South, by Budweiser, and by Food Lion. The Wolfpack trying to get some magic out of this old arena one more time. They've beaten the Tar Heels two straight in this building. Dean Smith will line up his Tar Heels this way with Okalaja, Jamison, Victor Carter, and Williams in the starting lineup. And NC State has altered the lineup with the reemergence of C.C. Harrison. He played off the bench in the Maryland game 24 minutes, but that's his only action in the last two weeks. Did not play at all at Duke on Saturday. The Wolfpack bidding for its second ACC win of the season, and the joint is jumping. Reynolds Coliseum, the scene for the Carolina State game, and we'll have the opening tip-off when we come back after this message from Budweiser. The head coach of the North Carolina Tar Heels, now 10 victories away from the Baron. Adolf Rupp, his head coach, Dean Smith, 866 wins. And Herb Sendek becomes the sixth different Wolfpack head coach to face Dean in his 36 years in Chapel Hill. The lights have been turned off for the introductions of the Wolfpack players. Billy, you had the chance to work that game over at Chapel Hill, one of the more bizarre second halves we've seen in a long time. It really was, and we talked about North Carolina lacking confidence going into that ball game with that 0-3 record and a lot of pressure on them at the time. NC State played a terrific basketball game, particularly early on, and then North Carolina had one of their patented runs, and it took every bit of it to go ahead and... Uh, outlast uh, the Wolfpack. And one of the things about this NC State team, despite their record in the league, with the exception of the blowout, the Duke situation right there, this team has taken a lot of people to the wire. Yes, it has not been have. an easy out for anyone. There's really been only two games, the Duke game and the Florida State game at Tallahassee, where they have not been competitive late into the second half. And what an advantage they have playing in this building. Well, I, I think uh, a real testimony, not only to the building, but also to the state yes. people. You know, it's been a long time since they've had something really to cheer about. But, you know, we, we're, we, we had in that introduction, let's just think about it. I don't know if I've ever been in a louder environment than what we just experienced.
experienced a few minutes ago. So uh, a great thing on behalf of fans that have supported this team uh, very well. Danny Strong and the Wolfpack players now breaking the huddle. You saw Vince Carter. Here's a look at our officials tonight. Dick Paparo, Carl Hess, and Les Jones will work the game. The Wolfpack having lost two straight and eight of their last nine. Herb Sendek trying to get that second ACC win. And a final is in now from Winston-Salem as number two Wake Forest has defeated number seven Clemson 55 to 49. In that first game, Harrison with 21, Hyatt with 13, so you know how much Harrison means to them back in the lineup in a game like this. Williams, uh, Shimon Williams at 21 for North Carolina, and Jamison had the big game with 13 and 12, so if that's any indication, these are the guys we can be looking for in this one. Protection of the basketball, a big key for the Wolfpack. They coughed it up 25 times in that first game and six times in the last two and a half that paved the way for the Tar Heels to come back victory. Inside. Take it away by Thornton. Terrific job by Thornton. Give it up about four and maybe even five inches. But he stayed right with his wicker to pick it off. And about 50 pounds, too. At least. But he's got a great advantage in quickness. And good timing on that last one. Harrison outside. Benjamin for three. Jamison finally claims it. Devon Williams brings it up. The Carolina ball club that's won three straight, and they've all been blowouts. The last two in the conference. Surge backs in. Shoots over Thornton and misses. Right out of the wolf pack. Nice double team by NC State against Wickers. Wickers got to see that coming and throw opposite. With the Wolfpack played on this floor, they beat Clemson. And they're off for a 3 0 lead tonight as Danny Strong connects. He's been hot of late from three point range, hitting 14 of his last 21 coming into the game. And 22 of his last 45 shots, period. Carter tries to tie it. Not a good balanced shot right there by Carter. He was backing up on the shot, landed on his back foot. Tough to make him that way. Plus your name is uh, Michael Jordan. Huh? <laughs> Watching him last night was incredible. Really a pleasure. Williams for three. Got it. You see the difference? Came down on both feet. Excellent balance. Great three-point shooter. 61% of his threes the last few weeks. 28 of his last 46. Oh, that's incredible for three-point range. And we've got a foul called on the Wolfpack. Push off. Harrison picks up his first. You talk about the fundamentals of shooting the ball, Bob, but when you watch, for young kids watching Williams, he squares up to the basket just about every time he takes a jumper. He goes up with two. He comes down on, uh, and with good balance at his feet. He's normally moving forward when he finishes his shot. There's, there's a reason why he's having those kind of stats. Control when he launched the shot. Shot that one on the heel of his hand. Foul will go against the Wolfpack, and it's on CC Harris. You might be able to see it right here. Splinter never had the ball. Actually, shot it off right off his the bottom part of his palm of his hand. Carolina ball tied at three. Benjamin really sticking with Williams. It's going to make him drive with the ball. Wild pass. Now out of bounds to the Tar Heels. Ball was touched. If it hadn't been, Jamison might have been able to go for the catch and the put up. Carter will put it in. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Good ball handler for his position. Four seconds to shoot. Okalaja, he's been cold from three-point range, but Jamison, the offensive rebound. 
Really like what Benjamin is doing on Williams out there. Really guarding him tight. It's going to force him to drive. Now, what Carolina can do, and although it's not in their arsenal normally, is backpick Benjamin because he's so tight on Williams that he'd really be susceptible to getting hurt that way. The second foul on Damon Thornton. You see what Williams has done lately. But a key foul, Thornton now with two, and we're just three minutes into the game. And given up, as I said, almost a foot against Smicker. They cannot afford to have him on the bench. Jamison. Missed the leaner, strong the rebound. And you can see NC State likes to make you play half court at a time. Walk it up. They like to play the game in the 50s, low 60s. That's interesting about this team, too. The only guy in the starting lineup has a better assist turnover, assist ratio as, as far as turnovers is concerned, is higher. And he's playing forward. Now, that doesn't spell a, a, too many good things for the Wolfpack. Trying to get something in transition. Harrison faking. Now MC State forced to set it up. Harrison dribbles it off his leg out of bounds. Pretty good reverse dribble by Harrison. Just didn't work out on the execution. Timeout on the floor in Raleigh. Tied in three. And we'll be back after this message from Bud Wine. Here we're going to see Jeremy Hyatt now. Bob, on the year, Hyatt only has three blocks. That's the fourth. But a not only a great block, presence of mind to stay in bounds, get rid of the ball, and start to break the other way. And I mentioned about that turnover assist ratio. Hyatt's got 53 assists and 48 turnovers. The only guy in that starting lineup. NC State, 92 more turnovers than assists as a ball club. Hard to win that way. Boy, you combine that with a 41% shooting percentage. The and victories have been hard to come by. And a rebound margin of zero. <laughs> they get exactly the same number of boards as their opponents. Benjamin, very active defensively on Shimon Williams. Now he's Coda's in the game. He's doing the right thing. Now, with Coda in the game, Coda will be able to penetrate off the dribble and dish out. And that'll open up Williams a great deal. That's why he makes him so, he's so effective in that combination. Thornton. Tip up and in. Harrison. That was Harrison on the inside, as I mentioned, leading score in the last game with 21. Snuck inside as a guard. Thornton playing with an injured toe. He had the nail on the big toe of the right foot removed on Monday, playing with a protective shoe. Williams bottled up. Now Shimon fires and hits. Tough shot. Well, what happened there? Benjamin did a great job on Williams, made him drive, but then Benjamin got caught on a switch. And Williams is the kind of guy you just cannot leave. Benjamin back inside to Thornton. The spin move, and it's going to be out of bounds to the Tar Heel. Now, pretty good job by Zwicker, but I think that Benjamin playing in his hands, playing that close to the basket. If he steps out at the top of the key and makes Zwicker come get him a little bit, then maybe he can take advantage of his quickness. But from three feet away, Zwicker really has the upper hand with that size. Williams. Nice reversal. And Zucker's on the back. That's his first. Nine at five. And Justin Ganey is now coming into the ball game for the Wolfpack. Ganey, the freshman who has started the last four games for the injured Harrison. He'll take uh, Harrison's spot. 13.40 left in the first half, and tied at five. Danny, not the score of Harrison, but averaging right at about 19 minutes a game. High at baseline. Good kick out. Ganey for three. And with 
the superior size. Worker claims the rebound. Case where Coach Smith was going to take Zwicker out, has a man on the sidelines to put in, and Zwicker picks up the cheap second foul. Damon Thornton to the free throw line. That's his first point of the game. He may, I'm sorry, don't he'll be matched up with Jai now. Jai has been playing a lot better of late. Maybe that turnaround, the confidence for the team, also really helped him as well. As well. Indeed. Thornton hits them both. A 9-7 lead for the Tar Heels with 11.42 to play in the first half. <laughs> ACC basketball on the Ray Cop Sports and Jefferson Pilot Sports Network. And this one we really look forward to. At least to Tangle and Raleigh, the Wolf Pack of the Tar Heels. A two-point game with 11.42 remaining in our first half here at Reynolds Coliseum. Luke Buffum, redshirt sophomore at 6'8", 219, has come in to give State some size. Buffum coming off a very impressive game at Duke on Saturday, off the bench at four points and four rebounds in seven minutes. This helps NC State a little bit. We got to get a little bit more balance on the inside size-wise, and particularly with Zwicker out of the lineup, things look a little more balanced now. Jamison up and off. Bocalaja had it for an instant. It's out of bounds to State. Carolina now 4 of 13 from the floor. The Wolfpack 2 of 7. And this Carolina ball club has shot 50% or better in five straight. 9-7 Tar Heels. Bump him up high. Now to Harrison. Benjamin out right now for the Wolfpack. Danny Strong nearly had his pocket picked by Jamison. But Jamison has really improved as a defender out on the perimeter compared to where he was last year, primarily only a guy that could take somebody on down inside. Now he's got some pride in going out as well. Three on the shot clock. Strong's runner is short. Rebounded by John. He had four rebounds in the Virginia win Saturday. Jamison Strong banging down inside. And an illegal screen on John. 
Mokhtar is first. Strong and Jamison battling. Jamison just wanted to touch that thing down inside. Doesn't get a chance. Now's a great time to order Pizza Hut's new pepperoni pizza. Pizza Hut making it great again and again. Will double stack by NC State. Harrison baseline up and in. That was a nice two-man game that time by Hyatt and Harrison. Tied at nine and 10-11 to go in the first half. Looking to penetrate first, shot second. Williams just the opposite. Harrison knocks that one out of bounds. Tar Heels have 13 seconds to shoot. Now that second foul on Vicker really hurt North Carolina. You, I'm sure that Dean Smith wanted to take him out for a very short break because he was creating a big mismatch inside for NC State. But now with a second foul, he doesn't want to put him back in there. And of course, Thornton went out with two fouls. Herb Sendek would dearly love to have Damon back in with Zwicker on the bench. He's got him on the pines right now with 9.50 to play in a half. Five to shoot. Inside, Coda. Oh, off yes. that glass. As I said, he'd rather drive than shoot. He put that one back over the left hand to shield the defender. Good job. Tar Heels by two. 9.34 to go. In our opening half from Reynolds Coliseum, Bob Ramsley, Billy Packer, happy to have you with us tonight. Seconds now on the clock. Benjamin penetrates, but no shot. Strong for three. No, oh, nice. That's his second three-pointer of the night. Danny was six with the Wolfpack lead at 12-11. Well, he was four for five from three against Virginia. 25 big points in that one. He can stroke it out there. And boy, Billy, down the stretch, he was phenomenal. He scored 20 of the pack's final 26 in that game in Charlottesville. Tip won't go for Jamison. Strong doing it on both ends. Jamison thought he was pushed. A good position by Strong. The Wolfpack faithful coming to Reynolds tonight, hoping for the best, but obviously fearing the worst. But in the, as they work this half-court game, Billy, do you sense the tension in the building? I mean, every possession. Here's Harrison's runner, and Jamison the rebound. Not the shot. Not the shot that Herb Sidek would like. Really haven't been able to get Jameis in the ball down where he likes in the low post. There it is. Beauty. He's been working so hard to get it, and they finally get it to him. Great feed from Vince Carter. They're stacked up at the table to come in with 7.53 to go in the half. And one of them over there is Vicker. Okolaj and Hyatt join him in front of the scores too. Danny Strong. And intercepted by Carter. On the fly out. Here's Jamison. Up and in. What a shot. How about that balance? Incredible. Six for Antoine. Carolina by three. Too hard off the glass. Rebound saved by State. And they get a fresh 35. The freshman from high point, Justin Ganey. Well, at this point in the game, NC State is getting to play their style of basketball. You look up at the score, you see how much time's left, and you say, it's a 50, 60 point type game. Benjamin again. Broken up and taken away by Jamison. Great lead bounce to Coda. And oh. misses the layup. Didn't use the glass. 
If you're going straight on and you can dunk it, you should dunk it. If you can't, you've got to use the glass to soften that shot up. Gainey, nice pass to Buffum. And a big foul for the Heels on John. Boy, they got tremendous ball fake from Buffum that time, and John picks up his second. I mean, this is a hook, line, and sinker fake right here. Good pass, good pump fake, did a good job, and he, what, what Jai wanted to make sure is that he's not in the act of shooting because I'm putting him on his back. <laughs> Off him to shoot two. He's just one of two at the line this season. His back looked like it's a little bit out of whack here. First one, short stake. Eighth in the ACC and free throw shooting at 64%. 15 to 12, North Carolina. And neither one of these teams uh, very prolific at the free throw line. Carolina just shooting 66%. Buffum goes one of two, and that cuts the North Carolina lead to two at 15 to 13. Jamison on the heels leading. We'll be back after this message from Conquest Auto Parts Store. Carolina 15, NC State 13, and more ACC basketball coming up tomorrow night as the Seminoles of Florida State head to College Park to take on Maryland, 8 p.m. Here's the tip-off at Cole Fieldhouse. Check your local listings for the station in your area. The Terps and Keith Booth with revenge on their minds after the well, loss of Tallahassee. Keith, Keith Booth, who last year played with a bunch of seniors, basically did not have the success that they had hoped for, and this year as the seniors providing great leadership and Certainly playing as well as anybody in the league, probably. Win for the Deacons over the Clemson Tigers. Lake Forest sweeping the season series. Okolaja now. Dangerous pass. Carter gets it over to his wicker. Jai follows. That's blocked by Thornton. He goes up again, misses. Tipped out of there, picked up by Carter. Loose ball on front. Shimon Williams claims it for Carolina. You know there's a difference with Wicker in the game. It just puts so much pressure on NC State, giving up that much size. Wolf Pack basketball. NC State trailing by two. Jamison replaces John. Thornton with his second great effort defensively. Tries to go up on the second one and does alter the shot somewhat. But North Carolina playing volleyball with it on the boards. Carolina, with their size advantage, Billy, they've launched nine more shots, but both teams shooting 33%. 15-13, Tar Heels. Strong to Hyam. See if they can spring strong up for a jump shot. Air ball for Hyam instead, and here's Williams. State really... Uh, not utilizing their best weapons in a half-court set. Jamison shot doesn't go, but the follow is good. And again, the Carolina side. Yeah. They can, NC State cannot afford to take bad shots. And I think, you know, Strong shows that he's got a pretty good stroke going. Hit that jumper from the outside. they got to try to utilize him a little bit more from the outside. Decision-making by Benjamin and Hyde are going to have to start paying off a little bit. Kick out. Strong for three. Got it. There's an example. When you got a guy that looks like he's strong and getting the ball. Dan yeah, had only five in Chapel Hill and attempted only two three-pointers in that game. He's three for three tonight from long range. Carter with a riser and again an off-balance stroke. Zwicker follows and hits. Just no answer for the big man from the Netherlands. And it's volleyball. Just goes up on the boards, and Carolina puts it right back. And they've been doing that without getting the ball to Jamison down inside where he can be a factor. He hasn't touched it enough in a low post. 19-16. Top heels with 345 left in the first half. One of those games, every time you look at the scoreboard, you think that North Carolina's got a big lead. Then you look up there, and it's two points, three points. <laughs> Thornton trying to go up over his wicker. Does it score? He's kind of fearless inside. I mean, even though he's giving up that size, he'll put it right up his face. The freshman from Norfolk, Virginia, has four. Williams the stop and pop. Oh! And Thornton the rebound. Bad
Benjamin. Bonner. Bonner. And now let's look up at that scoreboard and NC State may be able to tie this thing. Good concentration by Hyatt. Jeremy Hyatt looking for his free throw here to finish off the three-point play. Now Dick Papara goes to the scorer's table. And they want to make sure the foul is on Carter, and it is. Uh, Hyatt in that win over Clemson at his career high with 18 points, but maybe even more important to that, held Buckner down to eight. Yes. And uh, that is a job in itself. Either one of those were fine accomplishments. But the dual both in the same night it spells upset, which is what it was. 2019 Wolfpack. Okolaji and this Vicker double team. Takes it away from him. Pack running. Three on three. Hyatt to the trailing Harrison. How about that? Fast break. Then a delay break. Dean Smith says, wait a second. I need a 20-second timeout. What team are we playing against here? This is not what State's supposed to be doing. And Reynolds Coliseum erupts. State 23-19 on our call of the week. And from last Saturday's Maryland Clemson game, keep your eye on the big man for Clemson. He carried Derby the steal and waits for the Tiger advantage. And when he gets it, a beautiful pass to the streaking Andre Sherkunas. Sherkunas converts that into a hoop. Clemson wins an 80-68, our call of the week. NC State would love to avenge that 59-56 defeat at Chapel Hill when they led by nine with 2.34 to play and could not hold it. Now, NC State has gone up by four, 23-19. Go to the spin move. Out to Williams. His three-pointer won't go. Tip up, no good. Rebound to Strong. I really think that North Carolina is failing to get the ball to Jamison down low to put some real pressure on State. That'll open up Williams even more. And check on Shimon Williams. It's his first. And a timeout on the floor at Reynolds Coliseum. 2-12 to play in the first half with the Wolfpack leading by four, 23-19. Back after this message from Budweiser. Well, Bob, what ignited this team is for NC State to get the ball in the hands of the right guy at the right time. Hyatt, trying to make a shot, out of desperation, throws it out, and Strong hits the three. That was followed by two great fast breaks, one that went directly to a basket close to the hoop, and then the delayed break on the swing back outside. Terrific shot by Harrison. Shimon Williams, the number two man in the ACC in three-point percentage. Danny Strong, number five. They both can light it up from long range. Led by that man, State has hit its last four shots after opening four for 13. One of the things that's cutting uh, Williams down somewhat tonight, there's one of those timeouts because of poor execution on the inbounds. In a game like this that's been tight, you don't like to see guys having to use timeouts for poor execution because you can imagine needing these at the end of this ball game. State is able to burn just a 20-second timeout for that indiscretion, but your point is well taken. That is a play that in a tight game at the end of the game would really come back to haunt you. Absolutely. I saw it in the Villanova-Kentucky game, Bob, and I had never seen this before. With the exception of one full timeout, Villanova used every timeout they had, 20s and fulls, in the first half just to get the ball in bounds. Mm. That's amazing. That, that hurts. Florida State, Maryland tomorrow. And that one at Cole Fieldhouse. Check your local listings at 8. 2.12 to go in our first half here at Reynolds. There it is. It wasn't that hard. Obviously, you can throw the ball into the backcourt. Clock 
getting 10. Danny. Good again. Ogalaji got hung up in the screen. Strong feeling it. He had five threes in the Maryland game and scored 19. Now, the other reason you want to go to Jameson, Strong's on him. Now, Strong's hot. You want to make him work on a defensive end, son. Take away that offensive concentration. Harris pass. Intercepting that pass across the lane. See, and Jameson is not matched up on Strong, but Strong is on Jameson. So you got to keep Strong occupied on the other end of the floor. There's an illegal screen. Oh, what do you call the net? Oh, the net's on him. Danny Strong took that last shot. You can see Okolodzi got hung up in the screen, did a little acting. Strong buried it. That was a two-pointer. He's got 11. There's the same inbound situation, just threw into the backcourt. You do that a couple of times, get guys sleeping and break somebody right at the hoop, get an easy basket. Okolodzi caught again on the screen. Now Hyatt takes the shot and hits it. That's a three. Ogalaja is not getting through the screens, and that put up a bad situation for North Carolina and left Hyatt open. And there's your best perimeter defender getting caught in those screens. That's a big advantage for the Wolfpack. Nice patience here. 12 0 and NC State trying to add to that. Nice job by Hyatt. Instead of getting carried away with this. Small lead, hold it up, and make North Carolina play some defense. Stake and take it to double digits. Shot clock, game clock, just about the same. Carter really working Harrison. CC pulls up, fires, air ball. Stake saves it, but into the hands of both Elijah as the first half comes to an end. The Wolfpack fell behind early, but roared to close the half with a 12-zip run. And Dean Smith's Tar Heels are down 28-19 at the break here at Reynolds Coliseum. Halftime is straight ahead. Stay with us from Raleigh. ACC Basketball is being brought to you by Nationwide Insurance, by Weyerhaeuser, by Fairfield Inn, and by BP. We're back in Raleigh with State leading 28-19, and the eagle eye of Billy Packer caught something during our halftime highlights after the Gary Braswell three. Look who's behind the well, wake bench. Yeah, I mean, you talk about intimidation. There's Rick Flair. He was the honorary coach for <laughs> Wake Forest tonight. I'm sure that... Uh, Dave Odom probably walked him out there and shook hands with the referees and said, if you'd like to get out alive, you know, here's what you're going to do. <laughs> Rick Flair, how about that? An all-timer. Danny Strong, the game's leading scorer. Wolf Pack basketball to start the second half. You know, by the way, I know he was on the sidelines for the Florida State-Florida football game this year. He's a big Florida fan. Florida State won that one, so it doesn't always work. He's really anxious to see the changes made by the two coaches here in, 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 during the halftime situation. Does North Carolina go down inside high-low, getting Jamison the ball? Here we see a little zone defense that we, we haven't seen for the first time all game. The ball's going to roll out of bounds, and it belongs to State, but two seconds on the shot clock. Now they've got to go 94 feet. And you want to pick up full court here because basically it's a desperation heave. Two seconds on the shot clock. Hyatt flings it through the hands of Thornton out of bounds. And that reminds me of the finish of the Tulane-Cincinnati game. Only Danny Forson caught his and put it up in there. That was a bizarre finish of a 
very well played game. Harry Clark really doing a good job with command right now. Nice tip away, but William shields his body to protect the ball. Boy, that was a great play, but now Clay takes it away. I'll tell you, Thornton, we talked about Jamison being a quick leaper. Thornton's not far behind him. Jamison up and in softly. Eight points for Antoine. 30-21, Wolfpack. by Benjamin. Williams does a good job shielding. Then he tries to go over Thornton. Look at how Thornton gets up. And a great hit ahead. Benjamin finishes. Some of the fans have thrown some debris on the floor and see a Dylan, the PA man here at Reynolds Coliseum making the announcement. That would cost the Wolfpack a technical. Well, you remember Benjamin made that drive last year when North Carolina made a good comeback here. Benjamin basically sealed that win with a drive to the basket. Was contested, unlike that last shot he made on the breakaway. Thornton won that ball down there. Swiffer picked up two fouls early. High, floats it up and Four speed Jamison right now if you're North Carolina. Bad pass. Look up there. Jamison on the block, but that one well oh, beyond him. Oh, Strong is down. Looks like he hurt his ankle. This would be a tough break for NC State. Young man's having a big game. We know this is not a deep team anyway. Let's see what happens here. Like just looked like he got his leg like whipped, yeah. Did he step on Jamison? Oh, he oh, just he got, got his kicked. leg whipped. He got kicked, you're right. Yep. Tough break. I can think of a break of a, of a tough break to a foot injury when Derek Wittenberg went down against uh, University of Virginia. He was having an incredible game right over in front of what is now the NC State bench. Hurt that ankle, and State that was having a fine year up to that point. Went in a tailspin without Derek in the lineup, only to come back and win a national crown. Danny limps back to the State bench. It's like he's going to walk it off, though. Well, we have a moment to remind you of the announcements to this game selected and compensated by Ray Cobb and Jefferson Pilot Sports, and the use of this broadcast without their express permission is prohibited. Nice piece of sportsmanship by Dean Smith there. Hoping that Strong's okay. Last night, I, I thought that what Mike, how Mike Krzyzewski handled himself and how Jeff handled himself in that, that very difficult situation at the end of the game. Just a terrific show of sportsmanship on the part of the coaches. The kids are really picking up off of that. As you can see, Danny Strong being taken back to the locker room. State leading by 8-11. point total of 19 at the half, a season low. North Carolina had the 20 in their defeat at Virginia. This is a Carolina team that's hit 51% of their threes the last four games. Just one for four from three-point range in the first half. Zwicker up and in. Oh, it popped out of there. Oh, that baby was halfway in the punch. But that's the look you expect from Carolina here in the second half. Get it inside. Really a high-low post situation. Wicker and Jamison. Step. Three minutes into the second half. When you mentioned that uh, loss by North Carolina, Virginia, Jeff Jones has his team playing such good basketball. And then to lose a game like that last night, a game that if they had won, it almost puts them in the NCAA tournament. Now they've got a battle for probably two more big wins in the league to give themselves some breathing room. Tough to win games in February. It really is. 32-23. Better advantage of it. He 
could have gone right down the center with that. North Carolina staying in their point zone. Swicker patrolling down on the inside. State with seven to shoot. It's Benjamin. Jumps in, nowhere to go. Ganey got it back. The shot clock expires. Okalaj of the block. The lead to Williams, and Shaman lays it in. Nice job by Williams. Even though Harrison's coming after him, he just kept the ball away from him. If he'd have gone directly in for the layup, it'd probably been blocked. Danny Strong went to the locker room with State leading by 11. And it really hurts, too, because Strong, their best outside shooter against this point zone, would be the guy most effective. Hyatt, kick out. Harrison penetrates, but nothing available. Got to take advantage of the jump shot when it's there. And that ball hit his hands. He had an opportunity. And Carolina just toying with the basketball to keep it alive. Strong still not back out of that locker room. Probably haven't had ankle retakes. Carter. Harrison went down. Zwicker keeps him alive. Retrieves out to Shaman Williams. Missing the three. Just rebound after rebound. 32-25 Wolfpack. Got to figure out a way to solve this zone, does the Wolfpack. Now Carolina goes back to man-to-man. -to -man. Nades and misses may be the tip-off as to what's calling that defense. Hyatt driving. Blocked by the backboard. They did get a foul out of it. Jameson. Now Ed Coda has come into the ball game for North Carolina. And Vince Carter goes out. The foul is on Jameson. It's his first. Carter only one for five in the first half. Not having a big game, and he's been playing extremely well of late. Made 35 of his last 57 shots, right at 60 percent. Nine for 21 of threes, but uh, not hot here tonight. Hyatt had 12 points last year when the Wolfpack knocked off the Tar Heels. And that's his eighth this evening. Time out on the floor at Reynolds Coliseum. State 33, Carolina 25. And back after this message from Bud Light. Moments ago here at Reynolds, the return of Danny Strong from the NC State locker room. That ankle retaped. And now, when will Herb put him back into the game? Well, he's kind of gimpy walking on in there. It might not be a bad idea to go back underneath the stands and run a little bit, try to get that thing loose. It's hard to get it loose sitting on that bench. As you would expect, Carolina's majority of the points from the paint with this big size advantage. But State making up for it with the three-point shot. They have not hit a three-pointer here in the second half yet. Well, they had five of them in the first half. Now, three of those by the guy, however, has been sitting on right. the bench and uh, was down with that ankle injury. Pretty nice catch by Zwicker. Okalaja in and out. And a good block out by Thornton. He's given up so much size. I tell you, when he gets to be able to play his natural position, which would be power forward, he is going to be hands full in this league. He's given up so much size inside and still doing the job. To Ganey. Ganey didn't offset and get ready for the jump shot. Just no threat to shoot. Tar Heels know that. Benjamin, just nowhere to go. Benjamin fights for it. Shot clock expires. Carolina's got it. Here's Coda driving in, and he's fouled. Well, they ought to hope that it's on Ganey, but it may be Thornton's. If it's on Damon, nope, it's going to be against Hyatt. His first. Danny Strong up off the NC State bench. And good. you're right, Billy, a noticeable limp. Yeah, good move, though, by Herb Sendak to put him in there early because you let that thing tighten up sitting over there. You might as well either try to run it out or realize you're not going to be able to use him the rest of the game, which would be a tough break for State. First time Carolina's been to the foul line tonight. And Coda, long with the shot, a 72% free throw shooter. Had a loose 
six assists in four straight games. But slim pickings tonight against the Wolfpack. 33-26. Danny Strong left the game. State led by 11. Remember last year at halftime, State led 43-27. Carolina made that great comeback only to fall short. He looked all right on that move. in the lane. Hell ball. And the arrow will give it to the Tar Heels. He's thinking back to last year's game. Todd Fuller in the middle to battle the bigger Tar Heels. He had a huge game. Yeah, Fuller in that game, 24 points and six rebounds. And obviously a factor with his size. Elijah tries it again and hits this three. Good looking for him on that shot. He had missed, Billy, 40 of his last 52 three-point attempts. But nails this one. Carolina on an 8-1 to run to cut it to four. Zwicker doesn't play strong. That's a good move by Strong. Even though Zwicker's not going to take him, you can dribble and you've got some speed going at him. So that was really an excellent move. Good, smart play. Zwicker inside. That's blocked by Thornton out of bounds. And Thornton kind of tells him to get that junk out of here. As I said, when he gets to be able to play his natural position, which will be power forward, he's going to be trouble. And right now, one of the premier freshmen in the league as it is. Jump back to Zwicker, and he nails it. Surge with eight. 35-31. If Thornton goes on to lead the Wolf back in rebounding, and we're sure that he will, he'll be the first freshman ever to lead NC State in rebounding. You notice that Carolina, after made baskets, goes back into that point zone. Benjamin baseline. Hyatt, they whip it around to Harrison. The guys aren't ready to shoot their jumper. Harry, one He's is. ready. Exactly. The, the jump shot is there on the penetration against this zone, but you've got to be ready to shoot it. And now Harrison, who has had the bad ankle, he hurts himself. Now CC goes out. And we've got a timeout. The shooter's mentality. When Danny Strong catches it, he's ready to load up. Timeout in Raleigh. Back after this message from Bell South. <laughs> NC State leading North Carolina 38-31. State continues to shoot the ball well. They're over 50% for the night. In, in fact, John Madry tells us 52% on 14 out of 27. And they've hit 6 of 11 from three-point range. The heels at 35-9. Only three other clubs have shot 50 or better against the Tar Heels this season. On the year, Carolina's opponent shooting 41%. So a big story. The Wolfpack, good shooting. Harrison on the bench. Looks like he had a cramp in the leg. He's going to be put back into the lineup. That's one of those things tough to get rid of, though, in a, in a given ball game. He's stretching that leg out on the sidelines. Inside, Jamison can't handle it. Loose the corner. Coda picks it up. Still nine to shoot. Coda, a knuckleball. That won't go. And strong the rebound. Well, North Carolina has really done a poor job tonight getting the ball to Jamison where he can work. There have been a lot of passes that have been off the mark. Just not getting it down inside where he's so effective. 11 minutes to play at Reynolds Coliseum. State leading Carolina by seven. Good back screen for Strong. He just wanted to find a hole out there. And Jameson trying to stay with him. Four on the clock. Three. Benjamin into the lane. Off the glass. Carter rebounds. Okalaja feeds high to the baseline and a foul. That was good hustle by Okalaja getting down the court to be in a position to score. Nations Bank, the corporate partner of the Atlantic Coast Conference, presents this ACC salute to excellence question. Todd Fuller was last year's ACC leading scorer. What national honor? 
did he receive? We'll have the answer in just a moment. And there's C.C. Harrison, the Reedsville Jr., back in now for the Wolfpack. Ganey goes out. Former North Carolina High School Player of the Year, C.C. Harrison. Okalaja, a 50% foul shooter, and it rolls off. You notice how he backed off the line? Now here's a guy that's got a good-looking shot, a good stroke, and then fundamentally breaks down by backing off the line and going away from the basket on his shot. He needs to stay right with it. Same thing, he backed off even though he hit that one. Okalaja with four points, 38-32. Never seen any great free throw shooters that fade away. You know, God, it just doesn't work that way. Jameson out to check Danny Strong. Here's Benjamin. Two pointer. That's where Benjamin's at his best. With one or two dribbles and bounce up for the jump shot from about 12 to 15 foot range. Cotto looking inside. Williams, Okalaja. Nobody on Jamison. And a foul on Danny Strong. And what happened on the inside? There was a screen, and Thornton got stuck on the inside with Strong. You'll see it right here. See, they both got stuck, and Serge Vicker double basically screen. <laughs> double screens both of them. And Jamison wide open. A good job by North Carolina to find their uh, a scorer wide open down low. Well, no sense griping about it. You just had a, a seven foot three inch, 270 pound guy run a double wide on you. <laughs> 40, 34, Wolfpack. Oh, right past Thornton out of bounds. What happened there? Thornton assumed there was somebody behind him. Let the ball go. Carter goes in. Jamison goes out. You know, we think of all the great games between these two teams uh, throughout the course of the years. I think back to the 1958 ACC Championship, North Carolina State, Everett Case's great team against Frank McGuire State. Blew the Tar Heels out that night right here on this court. After the Tar Heel Championship run, Dakota baseline. Zwicker up and short. Out of bounds off Carter. No, it's out of bounds to the Tar Heels with 9.05 to play. Think about the year in 87 when Jimmy Valvano took Tar Heels undefeated that year. 14 and 0 in the league. Jimmy's team uh, had that overtime game to win one ACC and then a double overtime and then beat North Carolina by two for the championship in 87. They've just had some incredible games. More debris on the court. Dick Paparo's or Herb said to, to say a word. question about Todd Fuller his national honor came on the academic side the GTE academic all-american team 3.97 in man not bad I'd say so there's a young guy that improved every single year you know came into the league someone as a project left the league as a NBA first round and draft lottery pick. yep the ice that was thrown out of the court. The water left behind, and they're out to make sure that the court is completely dry before the ball is impounded. Dar Heels have it with 9.05 to play. It stayed leading by six. Benjamin right on him. Javon going baseline. 
finish line. You know, Benjamin doing to him what he wants to, and that is to force him to put the ball on the floor and drive and not give that jump shot to him. 23 seconds on the shot clock as the Tar Heels get it in. Back rims one. Coda back up and in. Oh. Counted and a foul. Smart play there by Coda. Felt the defender off balance, so put the shot right up in his face to draw the foul. Got lucky probably on the roll, but just a smart play. Watch, he puts it right back up when he realizes the defender is not in a position to be in balance. So Coda goes to the line looking for the free throw that would give him six points. That man was Rookie of the Week in the ACC with those great games against Florida State and Virginia. Now Jameson returns for Dean Smith, and Okalaja goes out. Carolina winning the second chance points battle tonight. And now somebody other than Strong is going to have to come up. Carolina goes back into the point zone. Strong has been the primary threat from the perimeter. zone except by Strong taking a jump shot. It's just not working. Air balls, Carter the rebound. I'm not a Coda. Jamison fends off Strong. Coda takes it to the rack. Oh, the basket. Oh, it was no basket. That ball was apparently tipped by a tar heel in the cylinder. They're going to count it. That should have been no basket. North Carolina got a big break there. Point stayed lead, but Benjamin takes it back to three. As I said before, that's his best shot. Two dribbles and bounce up from 12 feet. He doesn't like the standstill perimeter jumper. He gets in trouble when he tries to take it all the way to the hole. And there's another occasion, Billy, where the shot came early in the clock. Big slam for Jamison. And now we've got a foul call and a push on Danny Strong. Wow. And he's got some words with Carter at midcourt. Boy, you talk about a tough break here. Is that gonna is that gonna turn the ball over to North Carolina? Because they lose the possession here in a game like this. You cannot afford to lose the possession. We'll sort it out when we come back. There's a timeout with 723 to play in the ball game and stayed leading 42 to 41. But Carl has called the foul on Danny Strong. It's his third, and the ball will go to the Tar Heels, it appears. Time out. Back after this message from Bud Light. NC Here. State 42-41, Bill. We're going to see the play. Jamison gets it inside and buries it right away. Now, going back down the court, Strong pushes Jamison out of the way. I really don't think in a game like this, there's any need to call that a foul. Nobody gained an advantage. You can have contact unless they're an advantage, and it obviously wasn't anything unsportsmanlike. Just guys trying to free up some room to get moving. How about a whistle for a warning, though? Well, you, you might just say to guys, hey, come on, let's keep it clean. It's been a good ball game. But that was a big turnover for NC State. Carolina looking to take the lead. Williams. Good hustle by Boy, Tip, nope. Jamison let it go, and the rebound secured by Jeremy Hyatt of NC State. Well, probably everything worked out. Now you get back to... Now Danny Strong's got three fouls, though. Yeah, that's a very good point. Hyatt. Here's Danny. Now Benjamin backs it out. A little bit of four corners here. It spins in. Bach knocked away by Coda. Picked up by Shabon Williams. Shabon losing it. Now it goes to Danny Strong. State with three on three. Benjamin. Tipped by Thornton. Gets it back. Goes up. Misses. Hyatt tried to keep it alive. But now Williams. This is 
really wild now. Oh, baby. Six minutes to go. And through all of those possessions and touches, nobody scores. Thornton had one from three inches. There's a hold. And they're going to get Vicker pushing off. Surge with his third. There's the push off by Zwicker. Carolina was bidding to take its first lead since it was 9-7. It seems like it's 10 minutes to go to score 42-41 with so many chances to either pick up on the lead. A dangerous pass. Or to finally take over if you're Carolina. Strong for three. In and out. Rebound Thornton. Tried to bounce oh. it in traffic. Nokalaja takes it away. Threw that one right at highest ankle. Neither team executing very well in this situation. Go to faking. Throws it up short. Tried to get the whistle, but didn't. Tried the same play as before. It's not maybe a bad time to take a timeout just to make sure you've got something in focus to score with. Both teams are really frazzled on the offensive end of the floor. 450 to play. Zwicker playing right behind Thornton inside, so you've been getting the ball. Four on the shot clock. Benjamin up. Off. Thornton. Nope, it's out of bounds. Off Coda. The Wolf Pack with a fresh 35. Our advance on a Parks game summary. NC State hitting six three-pointers, but only one here in the second half. And Danny Strong, despite missing time with the ankle injury, with 14 points and eight rebounds. Little question about the shot clock here. Great shot. Ball hit, ball hit the rim. basically had possession when you think down the end. Yes. Here we see zone defense by State again. Jamison running the baseline. Every possession has been a disaster here. Harrison outside Benjamin. High for three. Hits drops out. Well, the lights have burned out the scoreboard. Unbelievable. Stuck so long. Exactly. I mean, there's just nothing going right for either team here. And if you're state, how much longer can you dodge bullets, huh? It's been like this for three minutes and 25 seconds. 42-41. And neither team holding the ball. I mean, they're trying to score. With it, Bill, the tension continues to mount here. Under four minutes to play in the game. Benjamin takes it in, delivers the pass, high and misses the shot. Zwicker has it knocked out of his hands, but now he claims it. And again, Carolina has a chance to take the lead. I had, had a good shot. Inside Jamison. Oh. Rebound, Okalaja. That's no good. State's got it again. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. It's a fight to the finish. I mean, there have been some good shots, some bad shots. Neither team really said. That's why I thought before maybe a timeout to settle your club right. down. The score reached 42-41 with seven minutes and 24 seconds left. Danny. Nope. Short on that one. Carter gets the rebound. I wonder how many times Carolina's come down to court since that point with a chance to take the lead. How many possessions got four? This is the fifth right here. Fifth crack at it. Jamison. And he'll go to the line. 
229 to play. A lot of tension in this ball game. We I mean, haven't had any scoring, but the crowd staying right with it. Both coaches out on the edge of their seats. Norton picking up the foul for NC State. It's his third as Jamison goes to the line. You get a feeling somebody's going to score on a missed shot. Just a 62% free throw shooter. And 0 for 2 tonight. Been to the line 124 times. This is a pair. Are you kidding me? It's getting to be exciting because they're missing. <laughs> 218 left. And running. Well, neither coach wanted to call that timeout. dribbles. Nice pass. And Swickers gets it right back for the tie. Here. But Thornton could actually score and make Vic Swicker have a rough time if he puts the ball on the floor facing him. 44-43 NC State. There will be another TV timeout before the end of this game. We say that. We think there'll be a dead ball. That might impart on the strategy. Back in that zone in now. That means Strong uh, could be open for the jumper. He's it cross court. And he goes to the line. The fake. Now to Harrison. One on the clock. In and out. Swicker rebounds. Tar heels down a point. A minute seven to play. Good pull out by Cohen. They'd love to get Jameson the ball down low. Under a minute to go. 20 on the shot clock. Carolina runs the play here. 15, 14 to shoot. Code a big screen from Jamison. The freshman puts it up and off. And the rebound to Fort State protects a one-point lead. 40 seconds to play. They still not calling that timeout. 44-43 Wolf Pack. Benjamin weaving his way through traffic and a foul. And it's on Coda. Billy Packer, here we go. 44-43 stake. Keep in mind, only three team fouls on the Tar Heels. Well, one of the things that you can do if you're North Carolina here is to go for really strong steals. I mean, because you're not worried about foul and trying to take the ball away from somebody because State's not going to go to the line anyway. Maximum timeouts available for both ball clubs. Well, they're both in pretty good shape. State gets the arrow. But see, right now, just go and try to steal the ball off the right. dribbler. Don't foul him, but try to steal it. And don't worry about it if you do foul him. Like right now, go after him. Good move by Carolina. 26.2 remaining. The object is not to pick up a cheap foul, but go for the steal. State 44, Carolina 43. And again, the foul on Coda. Five team fouls against North Carolina. You notice North Carolina not guarding the man, taking the ball out of bounds. We've got a safety back here in Jamison. And Hyatt burns a timeout. What we saw, and you pointed out early in the ball game, when NC State struggled to get the ball inbounds, how those things have a way to come back and uh, present themselves again, especially in crunch time. Now this word from the Atlantic Coast Count. Two years ago, Dean Smith brought his number one Tar Heels into Reynolds Coliseum with the Wolfpack that night, raining threes, 14 of them. The 
Keister McCuller had six and stayed upset the heels by ten. Then last year, the Wolfpack taking a three-point lead into the final seconds. And North Carolina's Shaman Williams had a chance to tie it at the end. But he missed the shot, and the Wolfpack won it 78-75. If NC State Billy wins tonight, it will be the first time since the David Thompson years that they've beaten Carolina three straight in Reynolds. Well, 92, remember Gugliotta's incredible game here where State won 99-98. They won both that year. Scored 99 both, both times against uh, North Carolina. That was one of the real great individual performances in the series. Tom Gugliotta's incredible game, 36 points. Now a 20-second timeout has been called by NC State. So they have one full and 120 remaining. The team foul situation. Now Carolina, that last one on CODA, and that gets Carolina up to six. So on the next common foul, NC State will be shooting one and one. But it's a free throw shooting team that's shooting right at 63%. So if you're North Carolina, you know you might want them on the line to get that ball back. What a week of ACC basketball. We had the Duke. Virginia game last night. This one, Wake Clemson tomorrow night. Florida State goes to Maryland. Something tells me that's going to be a nail biter. 8 o'clock tomorrow night. You notice again, nobody guarding the man taking the ball out of bounds. So there's an extra defender out here. Hyatt gets it into Strong. Now to Benjamin at midcourt. Gets away from pressure. Now in trouble. It's out of bounds. Oh, yeah. That is what Carolina wanted to do the whole time. Go for steals. They could afford to foul. No room over there. Benjamin just got carried away. The sideline became a third defender. Absolutely. And he was in big trouble. 44-43. Can Carolina do it again, Billy? A tremendous second half comeback in the first game over at Chapel Hill when North Carolina was down by... They were down in this one over at Chapel Hill, 56-47, with a little over two minutes left. This is what happened in game one in January. Benjamin, the turnover. Jameis in the bucket. Tar Heels down seven. After the timeout, Hyatt throws it away. Carolina retrieves, and Jamison scored to cut it to four. After two Wolfpack missed free throws, Jamison goes inside for a Carolina one-point lead. Still, the Wolfpack had an opportunity. They get an inbounds, but Jamison with the steal. Carter, rather, picking up the loose ball, and Carolina wins 59-56. to It looks like the Tar Heels have another chance to pull it out of the fire here. They've got the ball with 12.3 seconds left, and Billy, here's that last play. Got no place to go, no spacing. Benjamin dribbled himself right into trouble here. You do not want to get on the sidelines. Try to keep the ball in the middle of the floor and give Dean Smith a lot of credit for that strategy where he came out realizing he had a lot of fouls to give and really used them wisely. Billy, you've been watching college basketball at a high level for a long time. Is there anybody who can work a clock better than Dean Smith down he, the stretch? He's been pretty successful. He's had good players to work it with. You know, you, you think about the Walter Davises right. hitting those big shots. It's not like it doesn't happen without talent, but he's always working on that sideline. And I think that other coaches know that he's never going to throw in the towel in a ball game, so it starts to work on their mind a little bit. But that was just a matter of Benjamin putting the ball exactly where it didn't belong, down the sideline, in the corner. Here Coda comes penetration. Coda on penetration. Coda goes baseline. Floats it up and in. 4.6 to play. Carolina leads by one. Here comes Benjamin. You remember Benjamin last year. Goes out here strong. Block. Block. Ball game is over. And Carolina has won it. They do it to the Wolf Pack again. Benjamin has ball on the dribble why would you give it up you take it to the hole you're at home you take a chance on getting fouled threw it out to the deep corner you do what Coda did you get the ball on penetration and take it to the hoop and North Carolina has its first road win of the year in the ACC here's a look at the freshman 
winning it for the Tar Heels. He said code of penetration. That's what happened. He's looking to dish first, but the layup or the, the, the jump shot. Carolina, 45-44. Head coda finishes with 10, and the Tar Heels have